Hey, how's it going? Doing a video. Never really done one much. Trying to get picked up, uh, or trying to pick up more on the videos that I do. Uh, a lot going on. Been back in the States. A lot of health. So part of that is some stuff that I got to collect in Tennessee. In my brother's house. Just got a storage unit out there. Some stuff that I left behind. So now I'm on a road trip from Wyoming to, to Tennessee. Uh, I'm going to take it in two days. <clears throat> First leg is going to be from Cheyenne to uh, St. Joseph, Missouri. There's a little AOK campground there. People seem really nice and pretty cool. Uh, I had another campground picked out, but I tried to email them, find out like seasonal dates, and nobody ever responded. So I uh, found this one. They were prompt in a reply AOK campground. Thumbs up to you. Um, really responsive. So got a reservation there. One bad it was like 20 bucks for a night, I think. Got all my camping stuff in the back here. Uh, got a Corinthia, uh, I think. It's either the Tropen or the Brenta, whichever one's down, good down to like 12 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or negative 11 Celsius, I think. Uh, so I got that. Got a Light Fighter one tent I'll be using. Uh, jet Boil. Uh, I got some. Uh, I got a wolf and grizzly, I think they call it, or it's just their fire pit. Uh, I forgot what they call it, but I got that. Uh, looks like the campground allows campfire, so I'll bring that. Uh, maybe some adult bevies, get some of those. Uh, so yeah, I'll bring all that, camp out for the night. Low's supposed to get down in like the 20s, I think. That's gonna be chilly, but that's why I brought my Corinthia sleeping bag. Uh, a little bit of a choice between the gear that I got, but uh, that one came out on top like a no-brainer. Say it's good down to like negative 12 so yeah i'll camp out there uh probably stop for lunch later on today and then i'll have dinner there have an adult bevy and maybe hang out by the fire pit that i got from wolf and grizzly um, and then yeah spend the night wake up early the next morning and then the second leg will be from uh, st joseph to my oldest brother's uh, house in southern illinois so we'll see how that goes until then See ya. All right. <clears throat> I think when we started out, uh, it was 439 miles total to St. Joseph, Missouri. That's where we'll be camping out for the night. Uh, only did one pit stop, and that was because I had to use a little boys' room. Only used like quarter tank gas. Filled up, used the bathroom, back on the road. And had over eight hours, 439 miles, and now we're at, you can see that, we got 190 miles left, so we've got pretty much five hours, four hours, 52 minutes till St. Joseph. I'm doing too bad, doing pretty good, so as we get there, 5.56 tonight, so that'd be just enough time to get my tent set up, kind of relax a little bit, get a chair out a little bonfire. Uh, I think I got it in the back, but I bought two uh, two packs of firewood. Brought a hatchet, so I kind of chop everything up into digestible pieces for the fireplace. But I do it too bad. Still, I'd say we're probably halfway through Nebraska. Uh, pretty flat. <clears throat> Not much going on here. Uh, Illinois is the same way. More corn stalks, you know, trees. It's definitely crazy uh, to think like how big America is. Uh, just driving through, you know, I've been driving for I don't know, maybe four miles, and I've only just exited one state, probably halfway through the other. A six hour drive in England would put you like up to Edinburgh from where we used to live in England. So it's definitely different. Um, yeah, I looked up one time, the square mileage for England was like 96,000 square feet or square miles, I think. Uh, 
us. I don't know which way to go. It's definitely small or America is definitely pretty big. <laughs> I don't know how you look at it, but yeah, where we used to live in England, uh, it's about two and a half hours north of London. About a six hour drive up to Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, probably a six hour drive over to Cornwall, which was the west side of England. Uh, it's definitely a pretty hefty drive if you were to go like southernmost UK to northernmost Scotland. Definitely a pretty hefty drive. I'm sure that's probably in the 11 or 12 hour range. Um, but still, just to go that far and like pretty much cover an, an entire landmass, kind of put it into perspective, like it wasn't really that big. And then, you know, after 10 years, we come back to America, like 18 hours. Uh, I drove from Washington State, Tacoma, uh, to Cheyenne. So we went through four states <laughs> and it took us like 18 hours it's definitely a lot of land uh, a lot of stuff to be discovered too so but anyway keep trucking keep laying down the mileage and uh, bring you back as you can see still driving I think earlier I said some wrong numbers because I can't read my Google Maps. Uh, so I think what I had like 200 or so miles, I was actually to the next turn. So I've got 53 miles now <coughs> to my next turn. Uh, but I got 192 miles left overall to the campsite. Yeah, getting it down. You can see the scenery's not changed much. I say we'll finish this up. This says I got about three hours until I get there. Stop again and fueled up. Gas prices haven't been too bad. It's been like three dollars and forty cents. I figure at this point we'll get there about still 6, 6 o'clock. So that'll give me enough time to get the tent set up and get everything set up. I'll unpack the truck a little bit and then relax. Yeah. Still going. Bring it back. into Iowa. We got 84 miles left. About an hour's drive. Just got out of Nebraska. Just crossed into Iowa. Uh, yeah. And should be hitting Missouri shortly. Kind of nice out here. About the same.
Missouri. Been in Missouri for about 15 minutes or so. Uh, this is showing the final leg of the trip. I've got 55 minutes and about 64 miles. It's like some pretty cool views too. Like sun's starting to set. You got the golden colors of, of autumn. We got some hills over here to the left. Pretty cool. Hopefully this last little bit goes by quick, get settled, be done. And we'll start all over again tomorrow. Peace. Well, got in for the night, got my spot. See right here. Yeah my one tigress chair. And one tigress table. And a light fighter tent. Set up. Wolf and Grizzly or fire fire pit. And, uh, got some, some chili sausages going. Oh, those turned out alright. Yeah, I'm all set up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to cook my food a little bit, and then I'll get back to you. Chili and cheddar sausages. Pretty good. Fire going. That's it. Hey, what's going on? We're on day two of the trip. Uh, I didn't took much footage last night because it was pretty cool. Got in late, made some phone calls. Uh, kind of stuck to a timeline, just kind of get some food made. Had a little campfire. Uh, I'll show the video on that too. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, had some spicy Korean noodles and some hatch chili uh, breakfast sausages. Uh, slept pretty warm, feet got a little cold. But uh, yeah, sleep bag would be great. I think it got down to the low 20s. Uh, woke up this morning, kind of actually slept in. I meant to get up a little bit earlier, uh, but I woke up about nine, uh, probably about eight, eight thirty, uh, and it was like 20, 21 degrees outside. It was freezing. So, was gonna make some breakfast, was gonna make some uh, coffee, but that wasn't happening. It was just too cold. So I packed everything up. Uh, I figured I'll get a little bit of a drive in, uh, and then when I stop, I will stop eat my actual breakfast, probably some oatmeal. 
have some coffee. Uh, and that'd be a good break up for the trip on this last leg. So, so far it's not been too bad. Uh, got through St. Joseph, now I'm in Kansas City. And then I believe this uh, I-70 will take me through St. Louis, if I remember correctly. Which I haven't seen in a while. It's been a while since I've seen the old archway. Uh, it's always cool. I don't like St. Louis, the town or the city, but uh, it's always cool to drive through and see see the archway. So, kind of reminds me of home. But, uh, yeah. Break this up, and I'll tune you back in. So, we're in the final stretch. At 51 miles, or sorry, 51 minutes. 52 miles and then we'll be done <clears throat> at least with this leg I'm going to go to my brother's uh, here just south of Mount Vernon, Illinois hang on with him for a day or two and swing over to eastern Illinois and shoot on down to Tennessee and see my other brother just wanted to get on here and you guys we kind of got into some hills but i was hoping to show you guys <laughs> what uh southern illinois looks like pretty much cornfields of course all the trees came in this is where it is right now too bad now but on the way here like more on the Missouri side I counted I don't know I lost count it's probably over 20 30 here uh, huge huge bugs sitting on the side of the road so here you go bunch of farmland houses out there houses out there yeah this is it uh, I'll bring it back Hey, what's going on? Starting a return trip home. This is it. Got the U-Haul trailer back there. You can see it. Uh, made it to my brother's in Illinois and then made it to my brother's in Tennessee. Didn't film all that. It was all personal family time. Had a good time. Uh, a lot of food. Good food. Shot some guns. Of course, some, some adult babies. Uh, overall, it was, it was a good time. It was a good trip. Uh, snowed a little bit. But got to my brother's the next day so that, that was interesting um, yeah starting our return return trip now uh, I got a campsite picked out in Nebraska in Fairbury I think the name of the town is uh, starting to get kind of a different hair growing right now I don't know if I want to stop tonight uh, at the campground or think about now actually pushing through I got five hours and 43 minutes till I get to the campsite. Then I believe it was another six, seven hours after that to get home. Uh, I might be able to make it home by 11 o'clock tonight. So that'd be kind of nice. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, see how I make it. See how the brakes go. It's all pretty flat driving from here. 
I'm in Missouri right now. I think I got, oh, I don't know, about an hour, hour or less to St. Louis. Made it through St. Louis and all that. I didn't film any of that. Uh, I did actually get some pictures and video on my phone, so I'll probably upload that to the video. You see the arch. But, uh, yeah. It's not bad. Not bad. Great day out. What's up? Well, it is five o'clock in the evening. I've pretty much approached the area where I was gonna camp. I uh, decided to nix it. Every river that I have passed is frozen. Uh, I don't mean like ice on the edges, I mean like the entire thing is frozen. Uh, a couple spots of light dusting of snow on the sides, not so much here. And my watch says, it's 23 degrees out right now, so that means it's only going to drop and it's going to get really cold, especially about 4 or 5 in the morning. I don't know if I want to mess with that. So, that means I have decided to press on. Uh, I'm going to drive straight through. Uh, it's going to be rough. I'm going to drive about 5 hours of it, 5 and a half hours of it probably in, in the dark. Luckily on this side, there's not too much to worry about. It's pretty straight, hopefully. But it's not too bad. Uh, it says I'll probably get there about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, factor in a couple more gas stops, probably more like 11.30 midnight. Um, yeah, I'm just ready to go. I can't be camping out in this, this is too cold. I don't have equipment for that, I don't have the clothes for that. I can build a fire, but even that, that would keep me warm enough. And it's pretty windy too, so I don't think the wind would, I don't think it would help cause any. But it's not too bad as of right now, uh, and I planned on this, I just planned on driving it tomorrow. Uh, I plan on camping out, sleeping, and then driving the remaining six hours, which right now I've got six hours and 42 minutes left of driving. So. It'll be fun. We'll get through it. It'll be alright. Uh, it's gonna get dark, so I don't know if I'll bring the camera back at all until I stop, but if it's not too bad, we'll see. But, uh, anyway, keep it quick. I got 12 minutes left. Uh, that's about a 15 hour day. I started at 7.30 in the morning. We'll be home by midnight. Decided to shoot straight through instead of camping out. Uh, it was just way too cold. It's like 14 degrees. I can't do that. I don't have the equipment for that. So I just want to wrap this video up. Uh, did good, got in, spent some family time, hung out, got my stuff, got out, even got home a day early. So call that a win. Again, just want to wrap this video up. Hopefully, I'll post another one some other time. Uh, but until then, peace.